The third one, 800 years old, Ocho Tempus. Wow. The Crusader. Top of the morning from Dublin. This is day two of my island trip. And we're at St. Michael's Church. James King, the burial place founded by their father. In here with his siblings by the looks of it, 1817. So I'm here to show you guys the crypts in the church. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little tour of the graveyard, just so you get your bearings. I've done the crypt tour already by the way. Elizabeth Ward, 1847, I think. So most, most of the stones here aren't very legible, They're quite worn. We'll have a little look on our way to the crypt. This, I'm not sure how a big crack like that can happen. I'm guessing vandalism. It's more often the case, isn't it? So the crypts here, um, I think there's about five entrances all in all and during the tour I went down two of them the other ones are sealed up due to break-ins and just general vandalism the most famous acts of vandalism was on the on the crusader I guess he's the main sort of attraction the main one people come to see. Um, his head was stolen and his uh, legs were pushed into his torso during a break in. What's this? I could just read Mary Ann on that one. Um, his head was recovered soon after and one of the other crypts is sealed because in I think it was 1996 um, some teenagers broke into the crypt and dragged out bodies and um, they played football here with the head of a little girl so lovely children oh god it is a chilly morning here Usual tabletop tomb there, broken again. So I did read online before I came here that you could, well, you used to be able to shake the hand, the we said that leathery hand of the Crusader mummy um, for good luck, but that. Um, that wasn't offered on the tour that I just had. I'm not sure I'd do it anyway. I've never, I've never touched another human bone. Oop. So I'm not sure I'd. Um, I wouldn't do it anyway. So this is a typical entrance to the crypts here. This one um, we didn't go down. I don't know if it's the one where the um, where they played football with the little girl's head or not. Uh, there's two more here. Uh, we did go down this one. So let's head down and take a look. The figure against the right-hand wall, a la derecha, resting on top of the coffin, is about 400 years old, 
quad throat cancer sinus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is female, Una Mujer, mm-hmm. but she is the most damaged. So she is anonymous, anonym, anonyma. Mm-hmm. Beside her on the ground, again, 400 years old, quad throat cancer. He has no feet. And also no right hand. The third one, 800 years old, Ocho Tientos. Wow. The Crusader, La Quasi, El Cruzado. One of the traditions of the Crusades is being buried with your feet crossed to indicate the crucifix, La Cruz. In his case, he is crossed at the thigh bones, the lower legs broken, pushed underneath. Again, he is too tall. <laughs> Dos metros, six foot six. Today, it is tall. Okay, that was crypt number one. Time for number two. This family are the Lords of Leitrim, aristocrats. You can see that they are aristocrats because some of the coffins have a crown motif. But the one at the front to the left, all on its own, solo, is very simple, no corona. It contains Lord Leitrim III. He was killed, assassinated in 1878. Nobody liked him. Como Manchester United, <laughs> Real Madrid, <laughs> Madame Le Pen. <laughs> Not even his own family liked him. So they gave him a simple coffin. When he was buried, the rest of the family disowned him. Although they do still exist, they have not been buried here since. That's why we can illuminate this room. This one. Don't think I like it. important thing in this room is the date. The death date is the same in each case. 1798. It is a famous date in our history and the mask at the back is of Wolf Tone, famous name. Usually we don't say Theobald, just Wolf Tone. In Europe, the date is close to the, the French Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfton and his friends tried to emulate the French Revolution here, break the connection with Inglaterra at the time. <laughs> he was sent away in exile and he ended up in France. So he asked France for help. They did send two expeditions, but they were not successful. 
So in 1798, Ireland decided to go ahead with the revolution without France. And there was a meeting. But at the meeting, there was a spy, an espia, espion. The leaders were all arrested. After that, these brothers took over. John and Henry Shears. There was another spy. The brothers were arrested, and this document is a copy of their execution order. If you use these blobs as your guide, this is the important part. Each of them, the two brothers, Los Dos Hermanos, each of them be hanged by the name. <laughs> But not until they be dead. For whilst they are yet alive, vivos, they are to be taken down. Their entrails are to be taken out of their body. And whilst they are yet alive, vivos, they are to be burned in front of their faces. Then their heads were psh, and their bodies psh, psh, into quattro parte. <laughs> In public. In case any of you are thinking of having your own revolution next week. There's a little irony to the execution was scheduled. For the 14th of July, La Catorte de Julio, La Bastille Day. Bye, Bastille Day. The whole thing has finished. Unsuccessfully. One month later, the French arrive. <gasps> Too late! <laughs> Wolf Tone comes home. He was arrested and sentenced for the same execution. In prison, he cut his own throat. And that's why we don't speak French. So that's it for the cryptos. It's um, really interesting. This one here, we didn't go down again. Not sure why tall guy didn't say. So the church from the front is it's not really much to look at, is it? It's not a thing of beauty. Sorry about the traffic noise, it's surrenders, it's a rush hour. Um, this little house here is the Sexton Lodge. Now the sexton would do the bell ringing, grave digging, and he'd look out for grave robbers as well. This looks like it says Walter Sweetman, Esquire of Mary Street in the city of Dublin, 1868. Got another house here connected to the church. Probably uses offices. What does it say on the door? Mother's Union. The tabletop tomb. It's interesting how there's um, like three houses in here. If you just drove past, you'd never know that there's so many buildings. It doesn't look interesting at all from the front. Oh, 
Not sure why you'd be inclined to um, put paint on the headstones like this. I mean, why? So I'll just check out this right hand side of the graveyard. I'm not sure it'd be too interesting but we'll go take a look. So it says G Turner maybe. Or Captain Rice, 1811. I wonder if they're interred in the wall as well, or whether it's a um, grave marker. Cherub of faces, cherub, cherub of cherub of faces there. Cherub, can't speak. I'm blaming my frozen lips. Here's our friend again. Hello. No, not interested. I'll leave him be. I think we've seen everything now, um, so I'll wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, he's off as well.